Those mushrooms. They're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. Just look Mongolian, but I can't read what it says. For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the divine source will be ours. No way to pull that down yet. be able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try.
listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Laura. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. Runner down. found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. They can't be far. Over. Comms are still spotty, so stay in close. We need to find them before they can organize another raid. Come in. We're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find the missing... <laughs> set snares in the clearing. Insurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark.
Just look Mongolian, but I can't read what it says. flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Constantine gave a speech to the new boots and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving, giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. Princes of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Someone was wearing it when they were killed. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby.
one there. Over there! We still haven't located the missing survey team. That's still our primary objective. Eyes open. Draw it out. Well, some time.
I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the prophet survived, but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the order of Trinity. followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them.
Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. to find out what's up there. so much wealth with them.
This codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Caraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. Prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the False Prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. Not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. 
I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get... First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watched the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. I waited with him. And watched. He was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I'm gonna check it out. Be right back. Stay close.
Hold on. Something's up. What's that? Who's that? Stop! It's over! I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it, but I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but... I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Thank <laughs> you. 
will bleed out. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. Everyone, they'll all die slow while we watch. You have one fucking chance right now. Tell us everything. Where are the rest of your people? You may have knocked out a few huge attacks, but that won't even slow us down. You think you can stand in our path for long? Where is your next target? <laughs> we don't have time for this. I have to report back. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. 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 You don't? No. How could someone like you... Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Okay. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? It's still it's under 50 years old. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. Hold that part steady. Just need some more leverage. Spread out. Dead. 
destroy that tank. Constantine is here, the man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse, he appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots, but I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mention a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. scene.
The loss of the fuel tanks will slow them down, but it won't stop them. Roth is determined that I should learn how to shoot. However, he tried to teach me today. I was utterly hopeless. I've always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. He laughed and said that he hoped I could find the right words to slow down a charging bison. I told him that's what he was for. Bless him for trying, though.